Hello, 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 hey, hi, hey, nice to see you, hi. Hello people, I'm Liam Hughes, footballer, ex-professional footballer. For the last few years, I've seen how times have changed and instead of us communicating with each other and talking face to face, we find it more comfortable and easier to do it through text. And I believe there's an avenue for me where I can get people talking again. And most of all, being positive, as there's people I speak to every day. And to be honest, I don't get very many people get in touch with me who are in a happy, good place. Some of them really, that they don't want to be living anymore. The life ain't really what they, they ain't making nothing of life. They've got nothing going on. There's no positivity there. There's no hope. So with this channel, I believe that I can reach out and maybe get someone to just relate to anything, whether I'm talking to somebody, whether I'm talking to myself, whether I'm talking to you, anything. Just relate. Um, it's shit to be lonely, really. Um, you can find yourself in dark places. You can take yourself to... It can get only get darker and darker, you know. The mindset's a, a terrible place, and when it's going one way, it's sort of hard to reverse it and start living positive, you know. You've lived that way so long, so you just become used to feeling shit. So yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be making this channel, and I believe that we can all come closer and just relate to one another and sort of help each other. You know, if if you hear anything that that you can relate to or speak about, like feel free to message and get in contact and comment and everyone get involved and we can we can learn to become closer as a community and as a whole with each other. Um, I've tried the nine to five jobs and to be honest with you, just ain't me, you know. I respect any man that goes out nine to five and works and grass for his family, fair play. That's your life, you carry on, you know. You do what you need to do to feel good or whatever. But for me, I struggle with, you know, Liam, you're going to tag 200 boxes today, you're going to stick a stamp on 2,000, okay, stamp, done, stamp, done. I ain't no robot, I can't work like that, you know. I want to talk about people, I want to relate to people, I want to feel their pain in their stories. You know, this is what makes me feel alive, so this is what I'm going to do, this is what I've chose to do. And I believe that if you're going to do something, throw everything into it. And, and that's what I've done. I'm going to give this a shot, and... Over the next few weeks, you'll see me releasing a few more episodes, talking about anything, you know, in general, that's happening or happened, anything, talk about anything, you know. Um, I want you, the people, to to just listen and just just see if you can relate and and just take 20 minutes out for yourself, just relax and just listen and we'll just talk about or where we've been, good places, bad places, Netflix shows, boxers, football, anything really that you're relaxed about or talk about, we're, we're going to cover. We're going to cover everything: worry, anxiety, depression, life issues, bad, good, self-love, confidence. I truly believe that talking can help change people's mindset. You know, it's like I could wake up and think, you know, today just I just day my day to day bad mindset and what I have to do is I, I have to exercise release the endorphins so that I feel happy but I have learnt that when I'm just talking and letting things go this helps me you know so this is helping me as well as you so so we're both winning in this situation the last few weeks I've found that a few people have reached out and, and messaged and sort of says, you know, I've, I've found myself in a bad place or my mindset are the best or I'm carrying this since seven years old and I can't let it go to anyone. And I just think for you people out there, it does seem like the, uh, there's anywhere for you to go. Like, you know, I understand there's, there's, there's avenues you can get out and you can talk to people and, and do that. But to be honest, sometimes it, it don't work, you know, you, you need to try other things. I understand and I knew that there was people depressed and sort of with bad mental health, health out there but with bad mental health out there but I didn't realise how big on a scale it was, you know.
I mean, we all used to sort of, we come through an era when we were sort of chasing money and, yeah, just, just getting as much money in. And then when we've got the money, we'll feel at peace and we'll be grateful. We'll have everything around us. But we all know that life, you know, we can plan our life. We're going to be married, house, 23 with kids, a perfect lifestyle. It never works like that. We all know. Life sometimes, it can it can hit you hard when you're least expecting it and it can take you high when you're least expecting it. You know, I don't just want to talk about on this show about people who's struggling. I want to reach out to people who found a happy place, peaceful place, and I'm content with myself. I mean, every story is good, bad. I just love listening to people, feeling their pain and hearing their struggle, or just hearing their happiness. Good times, you know. I sort of get lost in the moment in your story. Alcohol, drug abuse. Anything that comes to mind and you feel comfortable, relaxed and you want to share a story with me, I will be getting in touch with a few people. There's a few, there's a few people out there that I see their story and I, I see their statuses and I think, you know, that lad's got a lot of shit behind him, he's been through a lot of shit. And I'm just sitting there thinking, I wish I could hear the shit, you know. Because me relating to shit makes me feel great. So 20 years old... I found myself in a shit, terrible, hard place. And to be honest, there was no hope for me. I, I never woke up hopeful or thinking, you know, today's going to be a good day. I just woke up every day. I knew that I was going to get dragged through it. And I was sort of happy with shit. I got comfortable feeling shit. And my point is that there's always hope. That That's a big word. It's a big word to me. It means a lot, you know. There's always hope for people. And I understand just listening to me and saying it's okay for you, it's okay, this and that. But I've been there when it is easier to sort of, you think, if I kill myself now, the pain stops. It just stops, done, you know. And and you, you think them thoughts and it's sort of finger and then you dodge back out, you know. Listen, we all know it's a place to be. And all I'm saying is that I want to help you people, you know. I want to do activities, I want to... I mean, if I have to take someone out for... Someone texts me and they say, today, there's, I feel terrible, I'm in a downward spiral, I've got a terrible feeling in my stomach, I don't feel like I can get anything done, I've got no motivation. I believe that us, me adding things every day, life-to-life issues, day-to-day issues that are happening, you might just listen one day and think, you know what, yeah, I'm in exactly the same place as he was five years ago, seven years ago, nine years ago. We could be talking to Ronald, who's 78, and he's talking about his war times and, and what he had to go through and how he had to be strong and, and brave and and just different different times and people's different auras, strengths and weaknesses. Um, that's what this is all about, you know. There's people out there and they need respect and they need this big persona and... To be honest, I know that these big people, and I know a lot of people really who ain't in touch with their emotional side and and won't really talk about stuff like this as it's sort of like, you know, what the f*** is therapy, you know? But my point is, no, we're just speaking about anything and everything just to try and help you or me. There's nothing else coming out of it except trying to make our better, make ourselves feel better. And... To be honest, we, we come through this life, say, what's uh, 60, 70 years, maybe, if you're lucky, you'll get that. And I think in such a short time, if you're going to feel so s*** and just exist, it's, it's a waste. And to be honest, it's a shame. It makes me feel sad. Um, Souls That Struggle, the name of my show. To be honest, I love... I love I love the message, souls that struggle, but I want to meet souls that are flying as well. I don't just want to speak to people, souls that are in a shit and in a mess and life ain't going right. I want to speak to people where everything sort of fell into place and gone right in life and they've never had to struggle. You know, I want to speak to these people and, and see how they're living, see their quality of life, what outlook do you have on everything? Because looking at different outlooks... It's amazing that we are all different. I mean, we can see the same thing, but we see it different. Nah, I don't give a f***, you know what I mean, bro? I don't give a f***, what's happening, bro? If one person, two people message us and says, you know what? 
that show changed the whole outlook of the f life, you know. And I'll say, James, everything else is a bonus now. That man there, yeah, he was stuck in his f***ing house, bro. He's walking around the streets now, he's smiling, he's talking, he's saying hello to folks. Yeah. He's living. Yeah. yeah, existing anymore, you know. What was I on? I was on something then. Okay, I got it. So, when I was 20 years old, I had a big void. And the way I used to fill these voids was drugs, drink, women, anything just not to really feel true feelings, you know. I was sort of scared of true feelings because all the true feelings was pain and hurt. I don't really know where from, to be honest. I could go back to my childhood and look at a few things, but I couldn't pick one out and say, yeah, that's where it changed. I just felt in life I slowly come to a point where, ba-bang, battery's gone, no more. There's no happiness here for me. 20 years old, filling voids with <laughs> And just getting ill. You know, and to be honest, at 20 years old, if there's a handful of money and it's unlimited money or I've got unlimited peace, I would snatch the money from your hand. Now, 11 years on, I've just learnt in life that all we really want is peace. Well, me anyway, you know. It don't even matter what I'm wearing, you know. Socks, cut-off trousers, trainers. I don't give a fuck, really. You know, stupid glasses. It don't matter how I look anymore because I feel good. You know, it changes everything. If you've enjoyed this talk today and you've and you've liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button or hit the bell and, and keep updated. And every video that we bring, it comes straight to you. And you can either say, sorry, not today, Liam, do one. Or you can just sit there and relax, listen, and we can talk. I've got a lot of people on my mind who I want to speak to. And to be honest, I've got questions as well. Some nights I'll, I'll lay up uh, awake at night. You know, thinking about this, just talking. I've never really been excited about anything really in life. Nothing really gets me, you know. But when this idea popped into my head, I was obsessed, you know. I was obsessed with it. So I'm going to finish this video here. Just remember, people, you are worthy, you know. I'll send you a lot of love, peace. And just know there's hope for everyone. And I promise you, things will get better. It's a fact, things will get better. And your outlook in life will change. It changes every single day in the morning, as soon as you open your eyes. It's a different outlook every day. It's a different mood, different persona. So our brain and mind is constantly changing. All you've got to do is find us right for you. So enjoy your, enjoy your day, people. And I'll send a lot of love your way. Thanks for listening. Peace. I town out of here, man. <laughs> Go on, man. Get up there, you big dosser.